smells amazing. Can you smell it? It is so, so heavenly. I love it. So, I just got done watering my garden. And I've been enjoying our fresh bloom gardenias. It smells so awesome. So, I've been picking some and placing it all over my home. My kitchen, my study room, and my bathroom. I even wear it in my hair. <laughs> I know, I'm weird, but that's alright. I'm me. And I love fresh flowers, and I like to put it in my hair. My Cambodian uh, culture, traditions, um, a lot of women over there do that. And I can't seem to shake it off. I belong in the tropics somewhere. I really do. And God knows that. And that's why he showed me my mansion across the ocean. And I cannot wait. And that's what I live for. To be in my heavenly dwelling with my God and all the saints and the angels enjoying the mansion that Jesus has built for me. I know, I know it sounds crazy to some, but for those of us that believe in the Word of God, and um, God has shown those marvelous mysteries to us, <laughs> there's nothing that you can say or do to persuade us from believing and obeying our God. Amen? Hallelujah! Well, I want to bring this word to us today to encourage our hearts. The Word of God tells us to exhort one another daily, not weekly, but daily. And I have not been doing that this week. So, I repented. I said, Lord, forgive me. I've been so bombarded with just things of the world, cares of the world. And... Um, I need to be faithful into exhorting myself, building myself up in my most holy faith, and building the brethren, the believers, those who are called by His name. We look to His word daily. Amen. Today, my children continually ask me for miracles, and I answer because I love to perform miracles, enforcing the fulfillment of my purposes and my will. I want my will to be done on earth as in heaven. Nothing can stop my will from being accomplished. Nothing can still my voice. Nothing can silence my spirit. I'm not a parlor game god. And I'm not a talented cosmic magician performing tricks to tantalize a human audience. I am the creator of heaven and earth. When you ask me for a miracle, look for my will within the miracle, and it will be done. Miracles are born out of the abundance of faith. Let me say that again. Miracles are born out of the abundance of faith. Galatians 3.5, Romans 12.2, and Hebrews 2.4. So I'm going to start with Galatians 3.5. All right. Galatians 3.5. <sighs> he therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh the miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Believing God with our whole heart is having pure faith in him, even if we do not understand it all, but we choose to believe our God because we know that he is faithful and that he's true and that he will accomplish all of his word. He will bring his word. He will watch over his word and bring it to pass. Every single one of them. And that is accounted to us for righteousness if we truly believe in the word of our Lord. Amen. And the next one is Romans 12.2. Romans 12.2. Where is that at? How did I get to Titus? I know I marked Romans. Here it is. 
Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, today, currently in our present world, we see a strong delusion in those mobs of people that are gathering around the world um, with these riots, looting and violence and robbing and demanding the defunding of the police department. You know, we see that lawlessness is increasing and the children of the lawless one are demanding for all laws to be uh, taken down, defunded, because they refuse to bow to the governing laws of God. The laws of our government is ordained by God himself, but they want to take that down so they can bring in the lawless one, the Antichrist, the man of perdition, to rule and reign with the false prophet, as Bible prophecy has prophesied that we are watching and seeing it fulfill coming to pass before our very eyes quickly and you have to be born of God and seek him to understand these things to see the word of God the Holy Spirit will reveal all things to us if we would seek him with all of our heart, he will be found. If we call out to him and cry to him, he will show us great and mighty things that we do not know. But we have to be born again by the Spirit of God. We have to repent and turn from all falsehood, all lies, all deceptions, all unbelief, evil addictions. Repent and turn from our sins and darkness to receive the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. So, I'm not going to start preaching. I don't mean to, but it's very hard not to do. The last scriptures I will share is Hebrews 2.4. It says, God also bearing them witnesses, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to His own will. Mark 16, 20, uh, I didn't plan to turn to this, but I'm going to Mark 16, 20, Mark 16, 20, what does that say? Okay, almost there, it says, and they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following amen so every day we all are given opportunities to run to the Lord to help us overcome the obstacles of our lives for me recently was overcoming another uh, real estate deal and we're still in the process of it but we've overcome a couple of major obstacles already um, and you know it just burdened me a bit so I just went to the Lord I said father please go before me and make all the crooked paths straight every obstacles Lord God I command in the authority and name of your son Jesus Christ I command those mountains to be uprooted and thrown into the seas I thank you Lord for favor I thank you Lord for the authority and power that I have through your son Jesus Christ I thank you Lord for your faithfulness and I actually expected God to actually go before me and move all those obstacles in my path my clients path the sellers path the sellers agents path the uh, home inspector the roof inspector all of those inspectors and every single body that, there I go again every single body that's not even a word <laughs> everyone that's a part of the transaction and there's a lot of them so and God who is faithful and true has continually 
done this over and over and over again with every transaction, except one uh, that that's recent this year, and that was because that transaction began with lies, deceptions in the first place, which we did not know until months, right around closing. That's when we found out. Anyways, but um, God is faithful and true, and I believe He takes joy when His children comes to Him humbly and just say, "Father, I need You. I can't do this, Lord. I need You." And we actually expect and believe that our God can do it and will do it, and we pray for His will to be done, and we pray for peace. To rule not just in our hearts, but our clients' hearts and everybody that's involved, our home or whatever, and um, you know, and this is counted to us as righteousness when we actually believe and declare uh, those truths, declare that our God is faithful and true, and He's able, and He wants to help us, and He does. Amen. And the other thing is, um, I'm pretty excited that. Uh, my son Micah, he's 14 and a half, and um, he's had a hard, challenging life with health issues and things like that, and uh, many other things I won't bring up. But um, the enemy has been working over time, just trying to pull him down and destroy him since birth. Um, but he's—I call him my mighty Micah, and um, they're both sleeping right now. Ethan and Micah are sleeping. And so, with much warfare, prayers, and, you know, heartaches and disappointment, um, we continually run to the Lord for grace, and He always pretty much tells us, my grace is sufficient. And um, so, I just wanted to say that, you know, yesterday, I began Him um, with new... Um, a personal training with a very special young man, my oldest son's um, close childhood friend that um, I adore and that I think highly of. So Micah and Bryson um, have began training, personal training, some martial arts, some self-defense and discipline and things like that and he really really enjoyed it and he asked to go at least three times a week so I'm very pleased you know I look to the Lord for everything that we need however um, he also gives us wisdom on how to live daily and what to do what connections to make what relationship you know to pursue what doors to walk through or not walk through and I believe with all my heart that this is a good and positive thing for my son and I'm thankful that um, I'm thankful I'm just thankful for the grace upon our lives and Micah's life and although it's been a tough road with his health issues and um, emotional pain and that goes with that you know I know for a fact that there isn't anything that my God my Redeemer cannot do <laughs> because he's proven himself so much you know over the years of hell uh, that I went through in my life so I know there's nothing that is too big for God to do in my son's life and I just praise him daily. I wake up and I just praise him. I said, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, that you are true and you never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, God, that I can just rejoice in your grace and be content with your grace. Amen. So I pray that the Lord will bless you today and lead you and guide you and I pray that you will seek him for miracles and be bold to ask and believe so you will receive whatever it is that you need today from the Lord our God he's merciful he's gracious he's full of compassion amen and goodness and mercy shall follow you and all who calls upon his name all the days of our lives and even onto our children's lives. Amen. God bless you. I love you.